Alright, so now in this video we're going to look at a common problem in electronics and that is when the output cannot provide the power that you need. And we're going to look at the 555 timer. I've been doing uh, this circuit, if you ignore this part over there. In recent videos, we take a light dependent resistor voltage divider to set a voltage at the reset pin in this case. And depending on how much light is on it, the way we have this wired up, will determine whether the output is high or low. And we're not going to worry about that too much in this video. You can watch the former videos to uh, cover that. But in case, the output goes low pretty well. So if you don't have much supply voltage, there's a good chance that you can still get a low output to power something. We'll see that the blue LED can still light up. Of course, it takes 3 volts to light up a blue LED. Uh, output goes to ground pretty well. And uh, so it's not going to get very bright in this circuit when we have uh, 3 volts, but you will see that it will light up if that is your only goal. Whereas the red LED with the high output, uh, the output loses voltage and uh, drops about a volt and a half approximately. It takes about a volt and a half to get the red LED to light up. And you're going to see when we lower the power supply to 3 volts, the red LED is not going to light up. But there's a simple solution. We can take a a resistor going to an NPN bipolar junction transistor. So this is wired as a switch. You can see we got base to emitter. There's a direct path to ground. And uh, so it takes about 0.6 volts to get the NPN bipolar junction transistor to light up, which this will still have. We'll have about an extra volt. And uh, that volt will go across the uh, 4,700 ohm resistor and a little bit of current will flow. And uh, probably about 200 times as much current can flow through the collector to emitter. So the transistor in this case will probably be on fully, but uh, the current that goes from collector to emitter will be limited by the load. So now when you look at the data sheet, the 555 timer, it says the minimum voltage, uh, it doesn't say absolute minimum, but for minimum voltage it says 4.5 volts. And so if you look at the data sheet, you wouldn't even think this circuit would work, but as we'll see, it, it works uh, just fine. So. I don't know the absolute limitations, but uh, that's what you'll see on the data sheet. So I'm not going to argue with that. Just going to show this uh, circuit works. And uh, so uh, I think that's about it for notes for this video. Uh, we're going to imagine we're using a lithium ion battery, which is usually about 3.6 volts on average, 4.2 volts when fully charged, and then usually you stop using it when it's about 3 volts. So 3.6 volts is in the middle of that voltage range. And now we're going to look at the actual circuit, except for the transistor is not uh, plugged in yet. So you only see the uh, red LED lit up when it comes to the output. And you saw when I shaded the light dependent resistor, the blue LED came on. So this works fine even at 4.2 volts, which we have now. So we're going to connect the NPN bipolar junction transistor. This is a 2N3904. When you're looking at uh, the flat side, the one on the left or bottom in this case is the emitter. The middle pin is the base and the collector on top. Uh, that's the 2N3904. Other transistors may have a different uh, pin layout. But uh, in any case, there you can see we have a somewhat high value resistor there. Just a little bit of current is needed, so it's not going to affect that LED at all. The output of the 555 timer can provide uh, plenty of current to light an LED and also a uh, transistor. So now you can see it also turns off when the one up there turns off. So right now, we haven't really improved the circuit uh, terribly well. Might as well just have the uh, LED right to the output of uh, this particular integrated circuit. But uh, you're gonna see, we got about 4.2 volts powering the circuit, and I kind of flickered because I bumped the power supply. Uh, good reason to have a capacitor across the power pins. But uh, in any case, that is what a lithium ion battery will uh, probably be right after you charge it. When it's freshly charged, it drifts a little bit after time, even if you don't use it. But, uh, you know, maybe it'll drift down to 4.1. But in any case, as you can see, as we get closer to three volts, this LED doesn't really dim very uh, quickly, and neither does the blue one. They do have less voltage to work with, so they're getting a little bit uh, dimmer. But you can see that the uh, red LED to the output lights up when the output's high, is rapidly dropping. That's because you lose about a volt and a half from the output. And uh, so out of that three volts, we only got about a volt and a half across the red LED, and it is not lighting up much. 
but uh, you can see the blue LED still lights up pretty well. So this is about where you'd want to stop using a lithium ion battery when its cells get to about 3 volts because if you drop it below uh, 2.5 volts you'll probably damage the cell and uh, you don't get much power between that uh, 3 volts and 2.5 volts so you might as well stop but in case there you can see we can uh, still get a working circuit for what we want we just want a red light when it's bright enough and a blue light when it's dark enough for this circuit and we have that but we need the transistor the output alone won't do it. So, in any case, hopefully that all makes sense. Hope you liked the video. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.